everybody. This is Ral Holocat back at you again with another cool video. Today is a nice sunny day. We just had a hurricane. No, we had a tropical storm. Tropical storm Fran just came by and paid us a visit yesterday, but now it's nice and sunny and time for another video. So uh, this is a video that we actually had queued up for last week, but because Dodge came out with the new Dodge Hellcats, this is the Hellcat Red Eye for the Challenger, but they also did just announced the Challenger Red Eye for the Charger, the Durango Hellcat, and the Challenger Hellcat Red Eye Superstock. Yes. So that was last week's video. This week's video is going to be a continuation of the New York Auto Show series, Lost Episodes. And we're still doing FCA. So the theme. Hellcat in the driveway, Hellcat on the shirt, all FCA, still FCA themed video featuring, well, you saw the thumbnail, you saw the title, it's going to feature Alfa Romeo and Maserati. Now, Alfa Romeo, Maserati, they're more part of the Fiat side of the house of FCA, but there are a few cars out there right now that are typically not so much Dodge, but we know that the Jeep Renegade is a rebadged or reinvented Fiat 500L or XL, whatever the big model is. Yeah, so we know that already Fiat has some influence on Jeep. Eventually, we're gonna see a new Grand Cherokee next year for 20, I believe it's gonna be badges of 2022, if I'm not mistaken. It's either gonna be a 21 or a 22. The, the press release is still not yet out there, but, but I digress. So what is this video about? This video is about seeing the Alfa Romeo and the Maserati, which could be the underpinnings of the possible newest Charger that comes out in a few years, the newest Challenger that comes out in a few years, and the newest Grand Cherokee that comes out next year. Uh, we have the Stelvia, we have the Giulia. On the Alfa Romeo side, we have the Quadraporte Maserati, we have the Ghibli, and we have the Levante. Now, personally, being, I guess I'm more of an SUV guy. I like the Stelvio Quadrifoglio, and I like the the uh, Levante SQ4. Those are my go-tos, but we'll talk about more of those in Final Thoughts. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Also, we have a couple of bonus footages for you. Because it was FCA themed, I threw in a little Fiat, I threw in a little Chrysler. We didn't spend a lot of time with either one. Uh, Fiat, I don't even know if it's gonna be around next year. Uh, I think they're starting to phase out the Fiat brand and bring those back to the States because, again, Alfa Romeo is going to probably take over most of the product line, and then we have Maserati if you want to go high-end. So, but none, nonetheless, they still had a couple of good Fiats that I like. The Abarth, I kind of like. Uh, Chrysler was in there briefly because we also want to pay heritage to the, the, maybe it'll be here, maybe it won't be here, the Chrysler 300. And, of course, the Pacifica briefly was there. So. It's FCA themed, it's New York Auto Show, Lost Episode Series, and without further ado, let's get to the video, and after that, I'll give you some of my final thoughts. Enjoy the video. Hi everybody, this is Ralph Holocat, back at you again with another cool video. Today, we're in New York City. We're here at the Javits Center to see the New York City Auto Show. We're gonna see everything we wanna see here tonight is gonna be all the cars, not just Dodge and Jeep. We're, yeah, we're gonna see Dodge, we're gonna see Jeep, we're gonna see BMW, Genesis, Toyota, Nissan, Ford. What? Mercedes. Mercedes, thank you. We got Frank behind the camera today. So, hope you enjoy it. We're gonna see all the cars today. We're gonna be doing it in little clips. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, without further ado, Frank's behind the camera. We're gonna get started and hope you enjoy. Okay, boys and girls, this is it. New York City Auto Show. We're going to give about 60 seconds to two minutes. Walk around the Fiat section. We have no idea what the future of Fiat's going to be. Since they haven't been selling all that well. The Abarth has sold. But the Spider, which is based on the Miata, has not... I mean... I think it just sold below expectations. Then again, you have, you have your Chrysler uh, products here, which really consists of the Pacifica. 
I mean, other than the Pacifica, I'd be surprised that they actually have the sedan. Yeah, you can see here that there's no 300. Oh, no, there is no 300 over there. The 200 was discontinued last year. You have the Pacifica here, and then you have your lone 300, which actually has a little bit of a SRT look to it this year because of a, uh, the black out package. I don't have to call it the midnight package or, or what? That's the S package. Sport. But this is just like the Charger, except it's a 300. So that's about it. So we're at a minute, 15 seconds. 300S. Yeah, 300S. This is like a white knuckle, non metallic. Okay. All right, minute 30, we're done. Another FCA product, the Alfa Romeo. So I was saying Julia before. The Julia is the Alfa Romeo. So this is the Stelvio, which is the SUV uh, version of it. So you have the Julio and the Stelvio. This is not the Quadrifoglio. Julia. But look at the front end on it. That's cool. Here's the Julia. And the rumor is that they, they think that they want to put, make this body, this platform, into a helicopter. And Dodge is saying, no, please don't. Dodge fans are saying, please don't. Well, they got something over here. Because it's not going to happen. They it's got like, something over there with quad exhaust on it. Yeah, so that's the Quadrifolio. So this is the Quadrifolio. See this? It's got the four-leaf clover. That's Quadrifolio. <laughs> so this has got 500 horsepower. Yep, they both have 500 horsepower. Quadrifolio is the. If you're, if you're gonna get an Alpha, yeah, let me take a seat. Man. If you're gonna, if you're gonna get an Alpha Romeo, I'll get this. I'll get the Stelvio. We're gonna sit in it real quick. Stelvio. All right, Stelvio, Alcantara seats, very bolstering. Side around with carbon fiber steering wheel, very small steering wheel, by the way. The start stop buttons here on the steering wheel. That's weird. It's got, cool. it's got the Tiptronic um, yeah. gear shifter. It's like got BMW. A, yeah. And then look how small the infotainment system is. They say that this is supposed to get the U Connect from Dodge, and they didn't get it. So, one card. Of course, it's a carryover for all the FCA products. Yeah. So we're in the we're in the Stelvio Quadrifolio. And it's eighty six thousand dollars. I think this is the this is now we're getting to with this Stelvio Quadrifolio. We're talking about almost Hellcat money. I mean, we're talking about track walk money. It's here, yeah. take a look at the stats. Uh, Seventy nine ninety five. Okay, so it's SRT money. Five hundred five horsepower. Getting different colors. There's some interaction here. I like that blue. That blue or that? Eh, I like this blue better. They don't have any type of. Oh, that's Silverstone gray metallic, so it's metallic gray. Okay. Which is what this is. Okay. That's the Julia Quadrifolio. Stelvio Quadrifolio, Frank's in it right now. Julia Quadrifolio. Julia Quadrifolio, probably around 56, 60. So, let's go with that. 73,000, I was wrong. Hellcat money. Hellcat money. Yep. I'm sorry, there's 73,000, you gotta get a Hellcat. And for 79,000, you get a Sartre. Uh, you know what? I don't know about SRT. I get the track off. But... So it's almost like the Stelvio is a better buy than the, than the Julia. $80,000 for the Stelvio. But it is smaller. Though. Definitely smaller than the Grand Cherokee. We'll take another 
view of this, and then we'll move on because not much here for Alpha Man. Oh, there's a Formula One car, by the way. Here, take a look at Formula One. So we've seen NASCAR, IndyCar. This is a Formula One car. So Formula One. I just love the look of a Formula One car. It's you got the new Halo for the driver. The wheels are so much wider. Is it the height? The wheel itself is small, but the, the look at the massiveness of the tire. That's hot. Imagine if you're behind one of these. Oh my god. It's too funny. We're gonna say goodbye to Alpha Romero, but we just had to think out. Think out. We had to check out. This Formula One car. What do you say? Okay, well, this is a nice kind of to say goodbye to Alpha Romero. Just when we thought we were done with FCA, look what we found. We found Maserati. So, do a quick walk around the Maserati displays. Oh, the Grand Cabrio MC. Okay, never heard of that before, but that's that. Yeah, the Quadraporte. Quadraporte. So it's similar to the. It's like a Dodge Charger sized car. It's a big car. Yeah, it's got. It's a 12. Get in touch with Monza Riding. Right? How about? Beginning. Okay. Or, ah, hundred and seven thousand. It's a hundred thousand dollar car. Quadraporte. Quadraporte. All right, that's Quadraporte. Let's take a look at the next one. Oh, you know what? My bad. I'm thinking Alfa Romero. Julia is Alfa Romero. <laughs> so this would be the look. Well, not the Levante, but this is the... We're going to have to go around too many people. This is the Levante here. And this must be the new, the new one, not the truck. Yeah, there's the Levante, and then they have a smaller version. I forget the name of it. We're gonna check that out. Soon. Oh, the Ghibli. Okay, see. I was like, I know about the Ghibli. The Ghibli has been around for a while. It's like seventy thousand. Seventy-five thousand. Seventy-five. Seventy-five thousand. So this is the Levante. Maserati Levante. So we're doing the uh, segment of Finding Hellcats in New York City, and this is where we reset. Yes. How much is Levante? About 80,000? 95. 95? 76. Okay. Both. See, you can get a Durango SRT, a Jeep SRT, but for the same 76,000, you get a Levante. I don't know, man. It's not actually that bad. If that's the price of this car, seventy-six thousand is not bad to us. I mean, I'm sure that. Well, I'd rather be in a track walk, to be honest with you. But, but if it were a choice between like a Dodge Durango SRT or a uh, even a Jeep SRT, Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT, uh, the Levante, I think would be a little bit more prestigious. Look at the interior in this thing. See, that is a nice red. That's like a nice burgundy. It's almost like a. It's almost like a great color. Very rich. Uh, Merlot. It's Merlot. See, that's what I meant. It's great Merlot. So this is. Is this also Levante? No, this is Levante too. But this must be a more expensive Levante. I could have sworn they came out with a, a smaller version. Of the Levante made it something else, but this is the still 
the same Levante as over there. It's over here. It's just a different bottle. And I'm not sure how much it is. Now, this could be your 80000 or $90,000. You want to take a look? Take a look? Let's see how much it is. Let's take a look. You can get your 76000 GTS or for a few thousand more. Bronze, pearlescent color. So yeah, that was for eighty-two thousand. Eighty-two thousand. The Grand Sport. I guess it's a. Is that another Levante over there? That's like a matte, almost like a matte color. Take a look at this. It's like a matte or satin, satin blue. A satin color. It's not. It's still metallic, but it's not glossy. It's satin with uh, carbon fiber handles. Oh, it's not working. But yeah, this is a different type of Levante. Yeah, the same one for GTS. Oh, it's GTS. Okay. Oh, it's but the color is outrageous. It's cool. All right, Maserati. All right. Oh, there's, there's a symbol right there. All right, Maserati, take it easy. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video of the New York City Auto Show featuring Fiat, Chrysler, Alfa Romeo, Maserati. Personally, I like the Alfa Romeo and the Maserati over Fiat. That's a no-brainer. Uh, I just wanted to say goodbye one more time to the Chrysler 300. Fiat brand, Fiat Abarth, still like the car, awesome. Chrysler Pacifica, the biggest seller right now for the Chrysler brand. So I had to throw that one in there. So I hope you enjoyed that. But let's get into the, the Alfa Romeo. If you're gonna go Alfa Romeo, you gotta go Quadrifoglio all the way, 500 horsepower, 505 horsepower, can't can't beat that. If you're looking for, well, a Trackhawk is a Trackhawk is a Trackhawk, but if you're looking for an SRT, a Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT comparison shop, Definitely check out the uh, Stelvio Quadrifoglio and definitely check out the Levante. That's SRT territory. Same thing with the Quadrifoglio. That's SRT territory. Granted, I believe that the Alfa Romeo has a lot more horsepower at 505, but the Levante still gives you a little bit of prestige. So they are some alternatives. There is no substitute for, for the track log. Let's just cut that right out. And of course, from the car standpoint, the Quadruport, the Quadruport thing, 110,000, 107,000. There really is no uh, comparison. There's really no. Real quick. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? I'm oh, sorry. Good. No problem. Um, oh, I didn't. Yeah, and you're in the video now. Oh, man. <laughs> I thought you were talking to someone. No, no, I'm right. recording a video. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to mess. What are you recording? I have a YouTube channel. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's like a car, look out at my Hellcat, and uh, I do videos on the Hellcat. And my YouTube channel is called Ral Hellcat. Ralph Hellcat. Yeah, it's R-A-L and then Hellcat. Got it. Hellcat, okay, I see how you should. Yeah. 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 Two hours later. That's nice. crazy. Good. And it's it's for cars? Yeah, it's a car, car. channel. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, anything we want to know about. Like, I, I'm more Dodge focused. Uh, I got a Jeep Grand Cherokee. got a Jeep Compass. Nice. Um, I have a few friends of mine that have Hellcats. And it's more Dodge, FCA, Grand okay. Cherokee focused. But I still love all cars. So it's, yeah. It's an all cars to town. Yeah, cool. Good deal. Looks nice. Yeah, hey, thanks. But uh, <laughs> 700 horsepower. Is that right? Yeah, so this is the Hellcat. This is the Hellcat. Nice. Two hours later. But it's not race ready, right? On the track? Uh, I just drag strip. That, I, I don't do twisty. Oh, okay, okay. It's just it. a straight line car. Okay. Quarter mile at a time. Got it. Yes. What's it? Zero to. 60. Zero to sixty, it can do it in three point five seconds. Even though with the tires that are on here now, I can't do that. Yeah. And then on the uh, drag strip, I've gotten a quarter mile as low as eleven twenty. Wow. Okay. And it'll do eleven six, eleven five, eleven six with the proper tire. Okay. Cool. But yeah, I'm happy with it. I mean, I've had it for two years. So. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Cool. All right, man. Good talk to you. Yeah. You too. All Don't right. worry. I'll edit you out. Yeah. No, I like me in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well. <laughs> Maybe I'll try to throw you in there somehow. Yeah. <laughs> the, the mastery of editing. Yeah.
All right, take care. Sorry about that, the magic of live recording in, in this world here. So yes, yeah, some guy stopped by trying to sell some, some I guess, I don't know, Altice cable, whatever, and I have Fios, but he stopped by, wanted to chat a little bit, no big deal. Uh, what were we talking about again? Oh yeah, the Quadraporte. So $110,000 in the Quadraporte, I don't know, it's not really, there's no comparison shop for that car. Um, I would say you probably just, uh, if you're looking for a Quadraporte, you're gonna get a Quadraporte. But if you're in the market for, say, like the Ghibli, the Ghibli is a competitor, I guess, in size to the Charger. Even the price of a, you know what? For the price of a Hellcat, you could get a Ghibli Q, SQ4. So to go SQ4, then you're in uh, Hellcat territory. And personally, there's no comparison to 700 horsepower all day long. Hellcat, Hellcat, Hellcat. Trackhawk, Trackhawk, Trackhawk. But it's always good to comparison shop if you're looking for an FCA product and you're still unsure, you gotta look at both. I mean, why not? Take it for a test drive, then you can decide. If you're spending the same money, you might as well compare them side by side. Ghibli, Charger, compare. Then we have the Stelvio. Again, Stelvio. SRT, Levante, Compare, and what else did we have? Uh, oh, then we had the, the Levante SQ4. Now that was pretty nice. There was actually, there was another GTS that was in that satin blue paint. Okay, so now, now we're talking about paint. That satin blue color in the Levante GTS, the last car that we saw, that was a cool color, factory color. It said one of one though on the license plate. Did you catch that? It said one of one? I'm not sure. Gotta look in, more into that. Nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed the video. That video was fun to record because I love FCA products. So we're keeping support of Fiat, uh, Chrysler Automobiles, which I'm now an ambassador of. I'm, I'm now an official blogger, uh, I guess approved to share with you FCA photos now. As far as sharing with the FCA videos, I was already doing that, but now I can officially uh, share with you, download with you, the official FCA photos now. I'll put those on Instagram from time to time. So check out my Instagram if you don't know, you have nothing else to do. <laughs> you watch this video, you're looking for more, go to Instagram. So without further ado, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did enjoy the video, please hit the like button, put a comment in, share the video with everyone that you know, because if you know anybody that's looking at Maserati, Alfa Romeo, or even a Fiat or a Chrysler, share the video. Uh, also, if you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button, tap the bell notification. We're looking to get more subscribers every day. We're now over 400. We're in the 400 teen bracket. After the Dodge video, we, we gained a few more subscribers, so I appreciate each and every one of you. I appreciate each and every one of my OG subscribers. But if you haven't, if you're new to the channel and haven't been a subscriber yet, just Tap the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so when we come out with more videos, we still have more New York City Auto Show left to show you. We still have more videos for the track for the Hellcat as far as uh, mods. Uh, I'm gonna do now that the weather has calmed down a little bit, it, it's not as hot today, it's not as humid. Maybe later this afternoon I might start doing a mod that I've been waiting to do on the Hellcat for about a month, month and a half since I've had the parts for it. So we're going to do a mod for the Hellcat. We're going to do another mod for the Trackhawk. We're not back in the driveway. We're going to do another cool mod for the for the Trackhawk soon. And uh, once those videos get posted, if you tap the bell notification, you'll be notified. So please feel free to do so. I would definitely appreciate it. So this video is over. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I hope you stay safe. Be safe out there. We're still a COVID-19 pandemic. Wash your hands, sanitize, don't touch your face, face coverings, face coverings, always wear your face covering. If, you're, if you can't social distance, wear a face covering. Uh, when you're indoors, it's mandatory in New Jersey to wear a face covering. I always have one on me at all times. It's either in my pocket or on my elbow or on my face. And uh, it's always good to be safe out there until there's a vaccine. So, hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Hope you enjoy the rest of your night. Be safe out there. Thank you again for watching. 
and you know how we end these videos, we always do the peace out. So without further ado, let me give you some peace. Peace, 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 peace. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Be safe out there. Catch up on the next video. Take care. See you later. Peace.